Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for your support and if you're new to the channel, welcome. So we're just going to have a little look today into the Divine Masculine energy. This is in particular for those who are in a karmic situation. So you're probably not in communication and um, wondering what's going on. Let's have a look at the energy. Okay, interesting. Um, the transition that we're getting here. So, some divine masculines are in a committed relationship. They may have a family. The fool came out sideways, so they want to move on from that, but they're not quite there yet. Um, there's just no emotions. It feels very cold as well, actually, their energy. It feels very cold. King of Cups reversed. Um, this isn't destined. You know, I feel it's not, it's just not working out. They're not really working at it anymore. They're like, they're focused on other things. And the lovers in reverse says it all because this speaks of a breakup so this is on their mind you know it's in their energy I feel for some of them it hasn't actually happened yet um, but but this is sort of where where they're at yeah they're trying to find the courage because they're unhappy right now to you know to break free from this but I feel some of them are just not listening to their intuition they feel they just need to be stuck in this situation I see this such a lot I don't know about you guys um people who just stay in these situations when there's no soul growth and if they listen to, if people listen to their heart, they would realise that, you know, they're not happy at all. But something keeps them stuck. I guess it's all about that um, familiarity, isn't it? Not wanting to change, yeah. Change is something that a lot of people resist in life. Something I found there. But if we don't make that leap you know, which is what they want to do, then basically, you know, how do you know? How do you know how much better life could be? It's kind of a dilemma I feel um, divine masculines are, are in right now. Let's get any other messages on this. Any other information? Wow. This is interesting because we got the King of Cups upright now and the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so they're thinking about their commitment. They're thinking about the Divine Feminine. This is the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because they're upright. Whereas that is karmic. So they're really thinking about 
communicating right now, sending a message to the Divine Feminine. This is what they want. This is in their subconscious. This is what, this is what I'm feeling. Um, these messages are here, my guides are saying. But again, here's that ending, you know, that they need to go through. First of all, that breakup. It's going to be quite painful. And as I said, it's just taking that leap that um, seems to be the challenge for for the DMs right now. Okay, so after this break up, what might the Divine Masculine do? So their energy will be off after that. Um, they may be a little bit impatient. They're going to need to heal. I really feel here. Um, they're going to be quite anxious. But they're going to find the courage to have this new beginning. So they will do it. And they're going to want to communicate with you, Divine Feminine. I feel, Divine Feminines, you're going to be in this Queen of Swords energy who takes no BS. I'm feeling that from your energy. Um, you're already a bit reluctant as to whether you want this. And you may not be very warm, you know, and responsive right away. Well, you know, that's entirely up to you, obviously. I feel you will hear them out, but you're just going to have your guard up. Um, okay, we're getting Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo... Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so after this period the Divine Masculine is going to decide what he wants. Be very focused, passionate. And, you know, this is the connection, the Twin Flame connection on his mind. He wants to communicate, or he's going to want to communicate. Yeah, he's going to have regret, though, over what happened in the past. Divine Feminine, you came out here. So he's... After this period he's, he's going to go through, it's going to take him a while to sort of find his balance, realise what he wants and start manifesting it with the Magician and communicating and that's when he then goes into this kind of almost dark night of the soul when he thinks about the past what he did to the Empress Divine Feminine who didn't deserve the treatment she got because I feel that a lot of you were ghosted there was like no explanation, healing was needed.
Yeah, wow. So the period of not talking is going to come to an end. Quite a clear message here. And they are going to come in with this romantic offer towards you, Divine Feminine. They're going to find the strength to do that. You know, the Judgment card, they want to reunite. They're going to think things through. Again, it's all about energy, isn't it? Um, because, as you can see, there's quite a lot that this group need to go through first. There's the ending, then the healing sort of dark night of the soul really coming out here, sleepless nights, wondering what they're going to do next, finding the courage to manifest, um, realising what they want, and then finally coming forward and end, ending that period of no talking. Okay, wow. <laughs> quite a story there but um that's really what I feel is how it's going to play out we just get a few whispers of love cards here for any other messages Okay, well, my guide said, bottom of the deck, we have to look at that. Have patience. Love is patient and kind. Yeah. The number 17, number of the star card, have hope. I do feel that both of you, Divine Feminine and Masculine, have some inner child work to do um, in order to reach that point of self-love. Because I noticed we got here, love who you are. So I feel that was a lesson for maybe both of you, but I really get the Divine Feminine here coming through. After what you went through, realising you are number one priority. So, you know, going within, it's been a long journey. Um, I get that, but you are blessed, Divine Feminine. Yeah, be in the present and dream of the future. Number 40, so the four is the number of the Divine Masculine. So this could be more so for the Divine Masculine. Remember, we all have Divine Masculine in us. So can be for the you know divine feminine as well um so not being too stuck in the past which we did get for the divine masculine here and not flying too much into the future staying present meditating in particular this kind of reminds me of you know we've got a feminine here and she's looking at the sun waiting for the Divine Masculine, okay? Number 11, yeah, Master Number, Twin Flame Number. This is for both of you, um, saying look to your inner strength. Yeah, you're stronger than you realise. Some of you, it may have felt like a very long process, and I do feel that Healing is needed in particular within. So we're saying about that, like inner child. Beautiful. Love is all around you. Yeah, so this is about, as I was saying, stay in that vibration of love. Um, if you can, you know, love who you are. 
very important, self-worth. Movement can help. Um, dance, some of you might like dancing. Connecting with others. Um, your ancestors are really guiding you right now. Some of you, I feel like horses nature. Some of you may see birds as a sign. Okay and this really does link with the Knight of Cups because Knight of Cups is very romantic. This card says romance. This is on the way. The Divine Masculine is going to want to sweep you off your feet. A lot of dancing energy here, movement. So things are just going to move forward, I feel. Emotions are going to be shared. 25 equaling 7, very spiritual number. Yeah, it's going to be balanced, I feel. There's going to be, there's a lot of affection there between you both. And I feel that's what a lot of you have missed. Okay, everyone, so I hope you've enjoyed this little reading. Um, please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love, peace and light on your journeys, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>